The nation's food supply is under a coronavirus assault at both ends of its operating arc. At the Hunts Point Food Market in the South Bronx, giant warehouses are quiet, fleets of trucks sidelined, a major food hub silenced. And we opened up to basically the public now. Restaurants and other regular food customers, dormant in this economically painful shutdown, just aren't buying. Lisa Rosenzweig works at one of the largest food suppliers in Hunts Point, where drastic times call for drastic measures. We don't get in as much as we used to anymore because we're not, there's no supply, you know, supply is able to come in. There's also pain at the supply end of the operating arc, where food processing plants in particular are struggling with COVID-19 outbreaks among employees. U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue, no relation to the Perdue chicken empire. I want to assure you the American food supply is strong, resilient, and safe. In the fields, however, a much starker reality as farmers prepare for a tough upcoming spring and summer crop season. Those crops were grown for certain markets. Those markets don't exist. Roger Noonan, a New Hampshire based direct to retail farmer, is also president of the New England Farmers Union. A lot of farms, especially uh, farms that do specialty crops, <laughs> where, uh, the government calls fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, requires a lot of hand labor. That labor usually comes from foreign countries. Local supermarkets round out the coronavirus impacted portrait of our nation's food supply chain. Demand is obviously not a problem. But Nelson Yasubio of the National Supermarket Association says the way shoppers shop is. The um, trip to the supermarket, where it used to be maybe on the weekends or two times a week, in some cases now is a daily pattern for different families. The good news, back at Hunts Point, food warehouse co-op employee Lisa Rosenzweig says things are starting to turn around, slowly. We usually get milk in three times a week and it's been this two weeks, three weeks. So this was just got milk in for the first time in three weeks? Yes. Ironing out the wrinkles in the food supply chain will come when states open again. The only question is, when is that going to happen? We're live in the Bronx tonight. Jay Dow, PIX11 News.